Hello everybody, my name is Camo and welcome back to the fourth devlog here on my latest indie game project, a super minimalistic resource management base building factory game set high up in the mountains. Now this week has been a bit of a crazy one. I've gotten tons of stuff done, as you can see here on the Trello board, and I've actually made some pretty major changes to the game, including scrapping a lot of the mechanics that we did in the previous weeks, unfortunately. But I'm really liking the way that it's going, and I'm thinking that this is gonna make a much nicer final product. So to quickly go over some of the changes I've made this week, first of all, I've changed the way that the sun and moon cycle works, so it gives for a much, much better sunset and sunrise cycle, and also gives the daytime atmosphere a little bit nicer of an effect, as well as when you go up, you can see that the sky changes the tint a little bit, and same with the cloud distribution, it is now much more centered right here, rather than being completely all over and down even in the ground. I've also made quite a few changes to the way the tile map works. So first of all, it is much easier to access tiles now and doesn't cause tons of lag when you click on stuff. And I've also put in a little custom generated selector box like this with these dots that can conform to any shape or size of room. And when you click on stuff, you can of course go through the buttons just like we had last time. And I've now added some more modals and improved the notification UI to properly display all the information. But one of the biggest things that I've been working on this week is the UI. So first of all, I've done the pause menu, which I'm really happy with the way that this is looking. And there's a few buttons, not all of them work, but the biggest one that does work is the settings. So when you click settings, you can see that it brings up a menu with all these different options that you can choose from, uh, from video, audio, controls, and even keybinds, which they do work properly. So uh, if I say open inventory from E, so it's like G or something and save that, I can now click G and open the inventory, even though there's no inventory UI to actually get yet. But they all work properly and you can even change languages stuff when we add new languages. And I've also been working on a little developer mode that allows you to quickly debug stuff and access tiles in the tile map to find problems with the code. But one of the biggest things that I really want to get done sooner rather than later is to completely rethink the way that data is stored in the game. As it stands, the system is way too overcomplicated. It has many layers of different features that never interact correctly with each other trying to interact, such as the biomes, resources, functions, and then on top of that, plants are trying to grow on all the tiles, and it's just a whole mess. The way I'm going to fix this is by instead of using a bunch of random classes all intermingling, using a list of properties on each object. And all these properties can be completely standardized and duplicated throughout all the objects, and I won't have to worry about none of them actually matching up together because they're all different types. But no doubt, this system is going to be an absolute pain in the ass to implement, so without any further ado, let's get to it. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it is now two in the morning and I am so tired, but we have a very solid system set up for displaying tags and storing information about the tiles in the game. So the way it works is that when you click on a tile, you can go to inspect it, and instead of just showing you nothing now, it actually shows you some tags about it that displays information. So for instance, this piece of bedrock here is in the mountains biome and it is made out of stone, which you can see by the two tags represented here. And when you click on the tags, you can see a little information bar pops up here, and you can put in some custom descriptions about it. But I haven't actually added many tags yet, so in the future, there's a lot of flexibility for adding new content to the game. But in any case, we made tons of progress on the game this week, and I'm super excited to see just how quickly it's progressing along. This game is turning out to be something really, really spectacular. But anyway, if you guys did like this video, make sure you give it a like, and if you really loved it, maybe even consider subscribing. But anyway guys, this has been Camo, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.